Welcome guys uh, uh, to my new video. In this video, I will talk about the if else statement in the C programming language. So first of all, like my video, subscribe to my channel and let's start our course. The if else statement is a flow control statement used for decision making in the C programming language. It is an extension of the if in C that includes an else block. How the if else statement work? First of all, we have if, condition, block of code, else, and another block of code. Here, if this condition is true, the block of code here in the if statement is executed. And if this condition is false, this block of code is executed. This is how the if else statement work. Now let's make an exercise to uh, to show how the if else work in the C programming. Exercise one: Write a C problem uh, to check if a number is even or odd using the if else statement. In this exercise, first of all, I need uh, to declare a number. It's an integer, for example, x. I need to tell the user to give me a value of this number. Next step, I need to use the if else statement to check if this number is even or odd. I need to write this condition if the number x is modulo 2 equal to 0. If this condition is true, number is even. Else, it's mean if this condition is false, the number is odd. Let's see how to write this code from A to Z, and let's start with hashtag include studio.h integer main, and I open the braces. Let's declare the number integer x. I need to tell the user to give me a value of this number. Enter a value for x. Scan f. Percentage d. And no. Now I need to use the if else statement to check if the number is divisible by two, then it is even. If the number here x, if x is divisible by two, Print f number is n. Now else it's mean the number the doesn't the divisible by two is not divisible by two. Print f number is odd. And finally returns you. This is our C program to check if a number is even or odd. First of all, I need to declare the number. I need to tell the user to give me a value of this number. And I need to use the if as a statement to check if the number is divisible by two or not. If it is divisible by two, the number is even. If the condition is false, the number is odd. Now exercise two, I need to write a C problem to check if a character is alphabet or not. In this uh, problem, first of all, I need to declare a character. I need to use the char data type, not integer char, 
for example x I need to tell the user to give me a character later I need to use the fs statement to check if this character is alphabet or not I need to use this uh, this condition if the character x is greater than or equal to a and the character is less than or equal to z I need to print here yeah, uh, the character is alphabet else it's, it's mean if the condition is false here the character is not alphabet now this condition mean x is greater than or equal to a and is less than or equal to z it's mean if the character is between a and z a b c d f g it's a, an alphabet and if it's not between a and z it's not an alphabet let's write the full code let's start with hashtag include studio.h integer main and I open the braces char s and now I need to tell the user to give me a value of the, uh, the character enter any character scan as percentage C percentage X if X is greater than or equal to A and X is less than or equal to Z uh, or the X is greater than or equal to big A and big Z here uh, the character is an alphabet printf character is an alphabet now else it's mean if this condition is false printf character is not is not an alphabet and finally return zero This is our C program to check if the character is an alphabet or not. First of all, I need to declare the character and I need to tell the user to give me a value of this character. Second step, I need to use the if as a statement with this condition to check if the character is alphabet or not. If this condition is true, the character is an alphabet. If it is not true, the characters 
is not an alphabet. That's all for today. That's all for the if else statement in the C programming language. Uh, if you have any question, contact me on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I see you later.